Testing for Equal Variances in Minitab. Open the file GB32 Test Equal Variance.mpj. It's a Minitab project. You'll notice when you open it up, the worksheet has two columns one for material, which is labeled as a text column, and one for the strength, which is the pull strength associated with the bond of the glues. We have our three materials from our example that we used in the analysis of variance. We have material A, we have material B, and we have material C. Notice that these have been stacked on top of each other into one column with the strength characteristics associated with it in the next column. If we click on the big blue eye, we can see that we have material, which is a text column, and we have the strength of that material, which is the bond strength, in another column. There's 75 total data points, 25 for each of the three different materials. Glue from vendor material A, vendor B, and vendor C. There's 75 total data points. To this point, we use analysis of variance and we view t-tests and paired t-tests to compare the differences between averages. Now let's see if we can detect the differences between the variation. So let's take a look at our graph so that we can see that variation does exist. Let's plot a histogram and we'll use with fit and groups. So the graph variable is strength and the categorical variable are groups. That would be C1, our materials. Let's graph this. This is the same graph that we've seen before. Notice that material C has a significant amount of variation it appears to be much more than materials A or materials B. To test this out, we need to conduct a test for equal variances or a test for the homogeneity of variance. That's under STAT, it's under Analysis of Variance, and we go down here and select Test for Equal Variances. This will allow us to determine if there's a difference based on the fact that and we'll select strength here, based on the fact that we have three different glues. Is there variation associated with these different vendors? So our factors are material, and that's going to be material A, B, and C, and the response is our pull strength. We're not going to store anything, but I'll click on this so you can see. It would allow us to store standard deviations, variances, etc. We're not going to store any of these things. Now all we have to do is just click on the OK button and we can generate our test for equal variances. So here you have it. This is the test for equal variances. Everything is presented here. There's really nothing in the session window to review. We get a test statistic and then a p-value. The Bartlett's test tells us that the p-value is 0 .0000. That's very, very small. That means there is a difference. Levine's test gives us a p-value that's 0 .000, and that p-value is very, very, very small as well. So in both cases, we would conclude that there is a difference between at least one of the variances that we see. In this case, material C has dramatically more variation than materials A and B, and the statistics prove that out. One question you might have is, what's the difference between the Bartlett's test and the Levine's test? Well, we can answer that because we are in this test for equal variances. All we have to do is go up by the question mark, which is help, and move over to the stat guide. And if we click on the stat guide, it's going to open up to the proper page to help us understand this test for equal variances. I'll have to make it a little bit smaller here so it fits into our window and we have our example of test for equal variances. What we can do is click on topics and confidence intervals and test. And click on the tests. All right, use Bartlett's tests when the data comes from a normal distribution. Bartlett's test is not robust to departures from normality. Use Levine's test when the data comes from continuous 
distributions, but not necessarily normal. All right, that's what the difference is. Bartlett would like to see all the data normally distributed. Levine's test, as long as it's continuous data, you can use it. In this case, they both give us good values that tell us that, yes, there is a difference. Now, we could test for normality to find out if these variables that we have, materials A, B, and C, are normally distributed. And we can do that using STAT, basic statistics, and graphical summary. The variable is strength. The categorical variable is our material. This will give us three graphical summaries, one for materials A, B, and C, and it will also give us the test for normality. And when we look at material C, we can see that its p-value is 0.034. We would have to consider that not to be normally distributed. If I look at the summary for material B, make it a little bit bigger here so we can read it, that has a p-value of 0.727. Yes, that's normally distributed. And when we look at the summary for strength of material A, we can see that that has a p-value of 0.913. That's normally distributed as well. So material C does not have a normal distribution. Materials A and B do. So we should rely in our test for equal variances on the Levine's test and it says that the p-value is 0 0.000. So we can be rest assured that there is a difference beyond a shadow of a doubt in the variation that we saw between material A, material B, and material C, and that variation shows up to be the largest in material C's pull strength associated with the bond of the glue. So there you have it. That's how you conduct a test for equal variances within Minitab.